don't think I don't think I curved them. Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and living with a supercar. We're in the Watford shopping centre today to find out what this car's like to take shopping, how easy it is to park or even get in a car park like this, as you're probably wondering how I even got here, um, but also how good the boot space is. So we're gonna find out whether we can fit um, shopping bags in there. So I need to get my girlfriend a few bits um, and I'm also gonna treat myself to something. So um, let's head to the shops and we'll see what we find. Probably my most nerve-wracking video to date. Actually, no, maybe my first drive was probably more nerve-wracking, but this one, I'm actually gonna be climbing the infamous um, Watford Shopping Centre car park for living with my first supercar and what it's like to take this car shopping. Or shopping, I said that really, really posh. I didn't mean it to sound posh at all. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna climb it nervously, nervous, nervously. Jesus, I'm slurring my words. I'm that nervous, um, and I just hope that my wheels are capable of doing it. Oh, he's bold. So, oh man, my hands, my palms are sweating. This is what living with a supercar does. I'm giving you real life. Um, feelings of um, taking it shopping. Oh my god. It's gonna sound good. So we've, all, we've always got that and I'm just nervous of my wheels. I'm nervous of parking it. Oh, I'm nervous of literally everything. <laughs> I'm still gonna put my foot down here though. It's quite fun. Oh, I'm in third. Jesus. <laughs> so here we go, guys. The climb begins. I'm gonna probably stick to first gear. Oh my God. I don't, I'm no, I've never seen a supercar parked in here and I, and I go shopping here quite a lot. Never seen a supercar in the car park. Oh my god. Sounds nice though. Well, I suppose we're in a tunnel. Oh, the windscreen wipers are on! <laughs> Oh my god, this car's in front's going slow as well. Oh my god, there's a... <laughs> I've never been in a traffic jam here. Oh my god. <laughs> as if it couldn't go. Why do all my videos go bad? And now I've got a car behind. Handbrake on. I don't trust myself with hill climbs just yet. Hill climbs, hill starts. Here we go, we've got some cars moving. I feel like I'm on my driving test again. At least the car in front didn't stall and roll back into me. That's a plus. Sweaty palms, sweaty palms. More traffic. This is impressive. But of course, there's no spaces on the ground floor, typical. Which means I have to go up a floor. And I've even cut. <laughs> I can't believe how busy it is. I've never seen it this busy. What I was saying before is when you actually go up another level, it's even tighter. Praying. Oh my god, here we go. I'll slow down. I may have to do this in a three point turn. 
Oh my god, I'm an idiot for doing this. I don't think I just don't think I curved them. So we're really finding out what this car's like as well on four-wheel drive. Yes, yes, I made it. Let's look for a space on this floor. Actually, no, we'll go up one. I've done it once, I'm gonna do it again. Could be my famous last words, but I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. This is actually really nerve wracking for me. And we've got it again. Yes. Ah, yes, spaces. I feel a little bit more relaxed now. Yeah. So, got the girlfriend some clothes and I also got myself a little something. So um, it's time to see. What the boot space is like. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll probably get one. Two. So the girlfriend's bags fit. Supercar boot space. I'm ripping my own. There we go, guys. Looks like that's what's only going to fit in. This is only my stuff's going home with me tonight. Living with a supercar, the boot isn't great. We have successfully made it out, as you can see. And that is another Living With A Supercar episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, me get very sweaty palms as I was um, driving up the shopping center. Unfortunately, it was only my shopping that actually made it home because it all couldn't fit, thanks to the big box that my clothes came in. But there we go. Thanks guys, make sure that you subscribe, um, share the video, comment on your thoughts, let me know whether you could have done it faster than me. Maybe we'll start doing like a time attack thing, a lap time around the shopping centre. See you all soon guys, thank you very much. This works, and I hope they don't like come and kick me out of McDonald's. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Hiya, could I order what the car in front has ordered please? What, sorry? 